All right, welcome back. So uh, we're closing in on on the Northeast here. Spring is about another month, month and a half away till we'll probably hit fishable water. Um, so I'm sure everybody's itching to go out. Hopefully there's new people that want to uh, get involved and start doing some tournaments with their kayak. Uh, so I figured I'd go over a few of the main things you need to get started. Other than whatever kayak you want, it doesn't have to be anything like this to get started with. Um, you know, your rod and reel setups, whatever you want. Uh, but there's a couple specific things uh, that you're going to need. So I'm going to go over them now. All right. First up, you're going to need a good PFD. Uh, one that fits you, one that's comfortable. And uh, look for one that's U.S. Coast Guard approved. Uh, I mean, pretty much any shop that's going to sell them, they're going to be that way. Uh, they're going to need a whistle. So if you dump this kayak and you're you know, out there, I think there's a big difference between swimming and then panic swimming. Uh, so that whistle's going to come in handy to get some get some attention your way. So this isn't an expensive one at all. I think this one was like 45 bucks uh, from Dick Sporting and you can you know, pretty much go up from there. So you're definitely going to need one of these. Next up, you're going to need a measuring device. This is the uh, hog trough, which pretty much all the tournament trails and series, they did away with these simply because you can flex them and manipulate uh, your measurements. So I'm sure there's still some places out there that use these and that's, that's fine. Uh, but most everyone went to the catchboard system. Uh, this is the carbonate one. So it's their plastic version, but this is like pretty heavy duty plastic. Uh, still got all your measurements for the judges and you don't have to do anything when you get this one. That one you had to marker your lines in and you know, basically the sport is evolving to where, you know, the things we use are already done for you. Uh, Catch makes this one and they're pretty much going to have to be either this one or their aluminum version from this company specifically. Uh, Hobie, KBF, they all use these. So they're expensive, but you need it. All right, next up, you're going to need a tag, uh, an ID holder. So you can print these IDs right off KBF's website. Keep them with you in your truck. This way you always have them. Whatever your code, this is an old code. You put it in there. So you can take the picture of your fish, drop it in there. When you upload your picture, uh, the corresponding app, which we'll go over in a minute. This way uh, that code knows you're a part of that tournament. And it's all good. So you can find these and they just bungee cord basically right over your uh, trough. This one was from Tourney Tag. You can buy them on Fishing Online. Uh, Fish USA, I think, has it. Probably Amazon at this point. It's waterproof. They're, they do make options to go along with this. Uh, different ways it gets held up. But if you're just getting started, this is perfectly fine. All right. It's 2022. I'm sure just about everybody has a smartphone. Uh, if you don't have one and you're still using a flip phone, something like that, you're going to have to get a phone like this. Um, it's the only way that's going to work uh, to use these apps. So the two main apps are Tourney X and Fishing Chaos. KBF uses Fishing Chaos. This way you can use that for all your monthlies. Most of the clubs use that too now. And Tourney X, uh, there's a couple other trails, Hobie, they use that system still. Uh, they're both great. There's other ones out there, but Fishing Chaos and Tourney X, they're going to be your main two. So you're going to need a smartphone to download those apps and take the pictures of your fish and all that. All right, so to go along with your smartphone, I guess you don't have to have it, uh, but I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. Uh, it's a tethering system for your phone. So this one's made by Rogue Fishing and it's got like a paracord coiled up, a tight you know, rubber band fit around it. It doesn't block the cameras, so that doesn't 
you know mess you up when you're taking a picture of the fish and you can go anywhere it doesn't matter if you hook it to the seat if you hook it anywhere I leave it hooked to my PFD and then tuck it right behind this way it's always right next to me um, if this phone goes in the water it doesn't matter if you're in a ten thousand dollar decked out kayak and uh, all the best gear in the world your tournament is over it's done you have no way of taking pictures of any fish submitting anything it's just it's over for the day and then you got to go buy a new phone uh, so I would look I'm sure there's different kinds other than this Rogue, uh, but it's been three years now and literally no signs of wear. I use it even when I go out uh, bow hunting in the tree stand. I just clip it to me, stick it in my pocket. So if I'm on my phone and I drop it, nothing happens. Um, along with that, if you still have your phone, but your battery dies, then your tournament's still over. So. For example, you know, it's a cheap little battery pack like this. Uh, on this kayak, my other setups, I have a USB port where you can plug the phone, the GoPros, all that in, so power is not a problem. But before I got to this stage, uh, I just brought a little battery pack halfway through the day around lunchtime, just plug the phone in if it was getting low. Because there's probably nothing worse, hasn't happened to me, but. Probably nothing worse than catching a nice one and your phone's on 1% or, you're, or it's already dead. Um, so those are a few of the things that uh, you pretty much need to uh, have a successful first tournament. Other than the obvious stuff, um, the catch board, there, there's no way around it. Uh, I want to say this one was like 35 bucks, 40 bucks maybe. Um, and you have to have it, or else they just won't accept you into uh, that tournament once they see a you know, picture on something, anything different. So if you have any other questions, I'm sure I'm missing some things. Uh, so if anybody wants to drop them in the comments to add to this, that would be great. And uh, try to help a couple new guys out, girls, uh, get involved this year. So thanks for watching.